the big idea is about connecting who with what and remembering that who you are and why you do what you do is the most important ingredient to bring to that answer, the answer of the question, so what do you do? As far as social media is concerned and different technology platforms, all of those places you are online, they are all different parts of your narrative. They are all different parts of your story. And as people move more and more online, being able to integrate all the parts of themselves effectively into their professional narrative will be critical. If we're connecting with people more and there is more need for interaction, it stands to reason that the way in which you are communicating with them um, needs to advance and polish and change. You know, the way I communicate with people on Twitter, for example, is different than it is on a blog, than it is in various parts of Facebook than it is commenting on someone else's blog, than it is on posting a photo, posting a video, commenting on any of the above, participating in a live stream, doing mobile stuff. It, all of those different pieces are kind of different parts of the tapestry. And so that's what I'm working with people mostly on these days is around that, how do you identify all of those different pieces that are part of your narrative and then actually create a narrative that makes sense? Because, because there are so many places to find people's voices, it is all the more important that having some sort of cohesion to that, some sort of connection to that. There used to be a very clear distinction in the world between your professional life and your personal life for most people. Um, the only people who used to have some sort of issue with a, a muddying of water might be, say, famous people, people whose professional lives put them in a public sphere and so therefore people perceived a per personal connection with them that didn't exist. It was because of the person's work, for example. Um, that is a phenomenon, for example, that is greatly different today. I'll use myself as an example. Now, I harbor no illusion that I am a great celebrity. I am not. I am very well known in certain circles that happen to be larger than your average bear's kind of sphere of human beings. I know a lot of people. That's been my stock in trade. I've curated conferences. I've done work over my career that has almost by its design or my personal design, that's where the personal starts bleeding in. Did I find the work because it was work that was presented to me so it became how I am? Or is how I am as a person merely adapting to the tools that are around me and making that into my work?